So let's talk about this new definition, right? This is really not new. It's just almost like lipstick on a pig, for lack of a better word. So I'll outline the old definition. I'll read it to you now, Madam Speaker. It said, a firearm that is a rifle or shotgun that is capable of discharging center fire ammunition in a semi-automatic manner and that is designed to accept a detachable cartridge magazine with a capacity greater than five cartridges of the type for which the firearm was originally designed. That was the original definition. We called it G4, or it was G4, so folks have heard G4, that was G4, along with a number of other things from the May 2020 OIC, which people are very familiar with. And then it was also table dropped, or it was not table dropped, it was provided in very short order in a very sneaky underhanded way with G46, which folks will remember was hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages long and looked to ban an additional almost 500 long guns. That's where the infamous and very, very popular for hunting, particularly the indigenous community, SKS was found. And again, this list was massive. It was about, I don't know, three, I can't, I can't show you because I can't use props, but it was about three inches thick. So they dropped that in a very sneaky and underhanded way along with this definition. So again, months went by, there was a massive uproar, hundreds of thousands of phone calls and letters and social media posts from the firearm community across Canada. And the Liberals, for once, I've never seen this before, relented and withdrew G46 and G4, wow, wow, that was actually quite shocking. I've never seen them back down on anything before. So that was round one, as we found out. Round two, here we are, yet again, almost no change. And actually, I would argue it's worse now, and I'll tell you why. So this is the new definition, I just read the old one. It says, a firearm that is not a handgun, and that discharges center fire ammunition, mentioned before, in a semi-automatic manner, mentioned before, and was originally designed with a detachable magazine with a capacity of six cartridges or more. And so there was a bit of weasel word change there, but very, very subtle, Madam Speaker. And so the reason they mention that a firearm that is not a handgun, it's interesting, more weaselly maneuvering here, the French translation for what they originally had was fusil de chasse, which means hunting rifle. That was the direct French translation of what they were trying to ban last year, late last year. But of course, there's tens of thousands of hunters, sports shooters, and farmers in rural Quebec. I think the block forgets this, but there are. And uh, they were in an uproar, obviously. So now the government has worked this out so that, oh, at least it doesn't say hunting rifle in French, but that is the translation of what they were trying to ban just in November. Let's just be clear about that. They just switched around the words a little bit, Madam Speaker. Very interesting. They are bringing forward a firearms advisory committee and they keep referring to the firearms advisory committee when asked about the SKS, for example, that doesn't technically fall under this definition, but was on the original list. They've as much as told us that the firearms advisory committee will look to ban that. The minister has, did, has said that, the parliamentary secretary has referred to that immediately when asked about the SKS, oh, the firearms advisory committee will be looking at that. So what is this the fire, firearms advisory committee? Well, they're saying it's a nonpartisan group of experts they're putting together. We've heard that before. They've had similar advisory committees for firearms, and they've had some of the biggest anti-gun groups in the country on that so-called advisory committee that they've had before in a previous iteration. So I don't trust for one minute that there's going to be advocates for lawful firearm ownership for hunters, sports shooters, farmers, and Indigenous Canadians in this regard, from this perspective, on that committee, not for one minute, Madam Speaker, do I trust that that's going to be the case. And they keep referring to that committee whenever we ask about the SKS. 